The second goal came from a well-worked set piece. Nicky Ina's corner met by a powerful header from Robbie van der Laan. The same combination brought Barsley's third. Lincoln failed to clear a Barsley corner properly, and when Bullock found Eden, his cross was spot on for Van der Laan to head past John Vaughan. The opening goal didn't come until nine minutes before half-time. Robin van der Laan found the net after Darren Barnard had miscued his volley from Eden's corner, although Barnard might claim it was the pass of the season. Robin van der Laan then got his second of the afternoon minutes later, bundling home this cross from Nicky Eden to make it 4-0. Mike Sharon opened the scoring on 36 minutes. Miller's huge clearance was helped on by Van der Laan, and Sharon's finish was cool as you like. Here's Wilbraham. Now Jaffo. Well, Cooper made a good break into the box. Well cut out though by Nicky Eden. Try to get it inside Eden there. Oh, a risky back pass. It's gone straight to Van der Laan and Shearer will score and does. And poor Gary Rump on his debut has cause for regret. He looks back at his goalkeeper. But a complete breakdown in communication leads to Barnsley opening the scoring. Well, Van der Laan does well, doesn't he? But you think Stockport have got under control. Suddenly, Monk Dilly Dallies takes one touch too many. I don't really see how he can have a go at his goalkeeper there, Rob. Van der Laan read it well. He's, you know, he's well away from the play here. He's come across, he's took a gamble. The gamble plays off. And what a nice finish from Sheeran, who really has looked electric early on in the match. Reacts well when the ball's laid back with his right foot. Good finish. Sheeran. But it's Mike Sheeran's goal at the moment that separates these two teams. Here's Tony Dinning. Ball. Appleby. Pignett. Appleby's continued his surge through the middle. This is Van der Laan. And there's Appleby! Sheeran! Double save. Brilliant. Remarkable goalkeeping yet again. You know, I think your forwards have got to react to that. That's in the danger area. Here's Sheeran. 
Van der Laan has made a break through the middle and Sheeran has found him. Well saved, Hignett, and cleared by Schimmerke. Within 10 minutes, Barnsley doubled their lead with another well-worked goal. After Fulham enjoyed a good spell of possession, Scott Jones intercepted Karamatri's run inside the box. Craig Hignett brought it forward over halfway, and as Dyer took two defenders away to the right, Hignett found Van der Laan, who produced the cool finish to chip over the advancing Taylor. Fulham won, Barnsley three. The first game of the season brought a capacity crowd to Oakwell as we entertained West Bromwich Albion. There were early appeals for a penalty when this effort was cleared off the line. Just after the restart, new signing Robin van der Laan came close to scoring what would have been a debut goal, but his header was tipped over the bar. Morgan Ariane you again coming forward. Robbie van der Laan also a threat. Morgan makes his run. It's deeper than that. Van der Laan goes up for it. you plays it back for Barnard. Whipped into the middle and it's van der Laan! And it's a second for Barnsley. And Robbie van der Laan opens his account at Oakwell. His first goal since his arrival from Derby County. And again, where was the Scarborough marking? Barnsley 2, Scarborough 0. Norwich had a change of kit and a change of fortune in the second half, but only after Robin van der Laan nearly doubled the Reds' lead. Barnsley fought back in the second half, but they did leave it late to get back on level terms. With just minutes remaining, Nicky Eden's free kick into the box caused some confusion. The Bolton keeper couldn't hold on to the ball, and it fell to substitute Robin van der Laan to smash an equaliser. with the equaliser and the Reds push forward looking for a winner. With 90 minutes played, Barnsley almost grabbed a goal. Scorer van der Laan crossed into the box, Nicky Eden headed it down and Andy Liddell held his head in disbelief when his volley hit the post. Barnsley 2, Bolton Wanderers 2. Good corner, headed down by van der Laan and touched in by Willems. 1-0 Derby. That's a good old-fashioned clearance. And Paul Simpson's onto it. Here's Simpson. Great left foot. Perfect ball in. Oh, it's gone in. It's just been chipped over the keeper. And that's number two. Simpson clips up the ball onto the chest of van der Laan. Absolute class from the finish. On the chest. And a perfect volley into the corner. Derby back in it. Another corner drilled in. Good header down by van der Laan. And it's 2-2. on it. It's an excellent jump and a fine header. And losing to Everton 
A home match against Spurs saw the sun shine on the Rams. Vandalan, good strike, brilliant goal from Robbie Vandalan. On the chest, there's the strike. No chance for the keeper. Storage again, so elusive. And finds Van der Laan. Bobby Van der Laan, good turn, fine goal. Tremendous goal. An excellent step over the ball with his right foot and curler with the left. Tremendous effort and a beauty. 2 0. Now, Robin van der Laan, a cracking shot from van der Laan. Williams finding fellow Dutchman van der Laan, who's done well. Yes! A little touch of Holland brings a touch of joy to the baseball ground on Sunday afternoon. Willems and van der Laan fashioning the equaliser. Headed straight back in first time, and there's the first goal of the afternoon for Van der Laan. Rowett, and he hits it long this time. Looking for anybody in a white shirt. Oh, it's a good stop by Salmon, but he's no hope with the second, and the follow-up from Gabbiadini makes it Derby 2, Charlton 0. Willems, the captain of Derby, up to Gabbiadini, touched back again. For Van der Laan, rather. There's a chance for Sturridge. And it's a goal for Derby County. Well, it already showed one electrifying bit of pace, and that's a super ball by Van der Laan. And he's there onto it straight away. Good goal. It's a great move, this, you know. It's Van der Laan's Van ball Lange. there. Beautiful ball. And, and that's, that's, that's a good goal. Head through to Van der Laan. Good return ball in here. Good finish. Great goal. What a fabulous goal from Dean Sturridge. Oh, that was brilliant. Sturridge really orchestrated that. Took the return ball from Van der Laan, drove it beneath Knight, and Derby from being a goal behind on 62 minutes are a goal ahead on 75. Van der Laan taking on the his man. Another delightful ball to Sturridge. This is what the leaders can do, and there's the equaliser. Magnificent play. It was the perfect ball by Sturridge. And a lovely finish by Simpson, his fifth goal of the season. Carsley's corner kick. Right struggling to get there. Oh, yeah. Down off the bar. Van der Laan behind. So the goal kick, Van der Laan was first to it. You see there, right struggling to reach it. Van der Laan's header. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. He got there well, Van der Laan. Deserved a goal. Simpson. It's a good turn by Simpson. He did really well. Sturridge to his left. Robbie Dean in the middle. Of the Brilliant save by Pedersen from Robin van der Laan. That looked a goal all the way from where we're standing. Oh, what a brilliant move that was. Started with Simpson there. It's great skill on the turn. And he came on down the left, played a little ball wide. Here he is, he just plays it wide. And here's the cross coming in. And you, and you see Van der Laan just creeping around the back post. Timing his run to perfection. A little shove there, header on target. What a tremendous save. Here's the corner. Good one. Got down and in by Van der Laan. the 
business for them. Robin van der Laan, tremendous delivery here, but he's managed to pull right away on the back post. He's pulled off the defenders there, Robin van der Laan. Good technical header. Dave Bassel say, how the heck is one of their best headers of the ball getting off that much space? It's not over yet. next season, the result of this 2-1 victory here over Crystal Palace. The winning goal by Robin van der Laan after Steen Sturridge had scored that one early on, equalised by Kenny Brown. Palace go into the playoffs, but it's Derby who have a day of wonderful glory. Jim, congratulations, back in the big time, your first season here and you've done the business. Yeah, I'm uh, obviously delighted. For everybody, and none more so for uh, the Mr. Pickering, really. It has been a, a marvellous challenge for me, and I'm delighted for what he's wanted and he's got, you know. I'm, I'm so delighted for it. And it's been a match which has been a terrific game as well. Yeah, I thought Crystal Palace played very well. I mean, they, passed, they looked less nervous than ourselves, to be honest. But we've got tremendous courage, and that's what's pulled us through. And the captain, who was the main man of the match, is, you know, that exemplifies the team, and the, I think. Uh, they deserved it in the end. I've seen you go potty in some matches, but I've never seen you in the state you were the last 15, 20 minutes. Well, yeah. I thought I'd gone past them days, Gary, but no, I was because I, I, I was looking at Ron last week at Notts Forest, big echo, and he was trying to strip the right winger up, and I was nearly doing the same, and uh, I, knew, I now know the feeling. Well, it's Captain Robbie van der Laan here. Well... What about a tribute to him, first of all, from you while he's here? Well, I just said he, he's, uh, made, he is the man of the match, fully deserved, and he's the man that's done a fantastic job all year for me as a skipper, not only as a skipper, but as a player. And he was a good header of the ball in the corner there. Just, just before well, I talk to Robbie, would you... We've been working all year on that. We've been the first <laughs> one we've got. <laughs> Do you want to present Robbie with the Ensley man of the match as picked by Ron Atkinson? No, 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 no. Well done, Robbie. Cheers. Uh, they gave you a bit of room for that winning goal. Yeah, I was, uh, I was surprised it was left on my own. Uh, we do a lot of practice on it, but uh, I never get that much space in training, so I was, uh, was pleased to have that one in. Well, normally those games are very tense and very tight, but it was a very good game, made possible perhaps by, by those two quick goals at the start of the match. Yeah, the thing was they, uh, they settled down earlier than we did, really. Uh, they passed it better the first 25 minutes, uh, and then uh, the last 20 minutes of the first half, we got tighter with them. Uh, we started winning some tackles and we put a bit of pressure on him and we continued at the second half. Uh, obviously Dean Sturridge's pace uh, helps us a lot. Uh, it spreads teams and it makes it easy for Paul Simpson in the hole to, uh, to get a bit more space. This so, is a uh, big club, so this is a very, very important promotion. Yeah, we're going to look forward to lying on the beach for about seven or eight weeks <laughs> and then uh, uh, we're looking forward to the challenge next season. The back and Liverpool hoisting the long ball down the park. Good clearance from the back, and uh, now Robin van der Laan, who did so much damage, a beautiful pass, this could be dangerous, and just wide of the near post from our camera position by uh, Peter Swan. And the veil roar coming up now, encouraging the side. Jeffers cutting inside his man, a nice layoff and a lovely ball forward. And this really could cause problems. A nice layoff, and is it there? Just over the top. And that's twice within as many minutes that the Vale have ripped open this Liverpool defence. Well, the corner to be taken by Brian Mills. It'll be an outswinger. Sorry, by Simon Mills. Swung there. And it's there. It's a goal. put Port Vale ahead after five minutes. Sully is the man who's come across to take it. And has gone forward, so too has Glover. Taylor's useful in the air. Van der Laan has scored! Robbie Van der Laan, the Dutchman, puts Port Vale into the lead here in the second half. It was almost the first thing Port Vale had created, and they won up. There's a real nasty.
fantastic ball. I was just going to say when Solly took that ball, watch for the in-swinger. They've got no one deep round the back post. You see Crossmaker run towards the back, but it's Van der Laan who just nudges that ball into the corner of the net. He just gets there first, anticipation. Phenomenal player he's been this season. And we, we pick this one up now. The ball breaks loose. Keith Houting now. Look at this ball from Ray Walker now as he plays it outside of the right foot. And picked up by Taylor, who plays it in for Robin van der Laan, and van der Laan gets it through to John Jeffers, and John Jeffers picks the back of the net for Oh, what a brilliant ball that was from Ray Walker there, wasn't it? Straight across the top. It was Glenn Otter style, that ball from Ray Walker, and a marvellous finish from John Jeffers, straight in the top corner, giving the Rotherham goalkeeper no chance. We weren't finished yet, were they? They certainly weren't, and this was probably one of the best goals that we've seen down at Vale Park this season. And uh, it started with a Rotherham attack, really, and it's cleared away. Now, what's Dean Glover here? Hits, in, hits the ball forward, and the goalkeeper commits himself against Paul Kerr here, and he, out he comes to Robin van der Laan, and what he did was clinical. He found the back of the net. Marvellous. That's not as easy as it looks from that sort of distance, you know, to put the ball in the back of the net like that, but great goal for the Vale. Oh, a lovely flick on, and it's there! It's there! Vale have equalised! Well, justice has been done at last. And the goal will go to Robin van der Laan. He slid in where angels fear to tread. They have, in the first 45 minutes, Things could be looking on the up. But there's a chance now for Port Vale, and what a save from Parkin. It was Van der Laan, it was clean through, another chance now, and it's in there, Vale score. It's Martin Foyle again, two for Foyle. Really slow start for Rovers at the start of this second half, and they've given it away again, Dave. Vale dictating things, Mills again. Well, they're really looking good at Port Vale now. Jeffers, there's the cross. Goal! And Port Vale are in front now. Van der Laan, the man who's put it in. Out jumping, Brian Parkin and Jeff Twentyman. 3-2, Port Vale. In the end, he forced the corner, which has been taken. Forward by Cook. And at the far post, Bamba was one of them. It just bounced across the box. Sonny can tidy up. And here's Bernie Slaven. Has a little time in room, which is a rarity these days, and now releases Foyle. Taylor's come up to support. Blackpool have poured three or four men back, though, and the impetus has maybe gone. Here's Van der Laar. Kerr's made the run forward. Still low with Van der Laar. Might think about the shot. Does do, it's a great one! fitted in at Manchester City. And, oh, and oh, that wasn't so far away as Van der Laan really connected with that. And it's good to see Robin van der Laan coming forward and having a go at goal again. Uh, it, I think it was the name of Keith Hill. It was indeed that went into the book. A lovely header, and it's there, it's there, Vale have scored, and deservedly so, and it was Van der Laan who got the final touch. Robin van der Laan acknowledging the crowd, the Vale have gone into the lead after 27 minutes, and Blackburn 
Coming back at the rail, Keith Hill moving through, Ashvin doing a good job. And Van der Lam making that one and pushing it forward. And this time the linesman was at fault, but in Vale's favour. And is it going to be there? It is! It is! And if ever there was an offside, that one was it. But Vale get the goal. Blackcomb, Blackburn, right, putting everything he's got into the game, turning it inside, but an excellent tackle by Walker. Vanderland as well, literally plows through a couple of players, and it's Vanderland now, a superb ball, and can Vale make it three? No, a brilliant save by Bobby Mims. Dean Lover. Vanderland. Oh, and what a goal from Vanderland! What a superb goal! No one more delighted than him to score with his parents here from Holland. And that makes it 3-0 to the mail. It looks like Vanderland again. It is. Oh, magnificent! Well, Van der Laan managed to pick his way through a crowded area to fire the ball into the net. So it's still one goal each here at Bale Park. Watford scoring first. Aspin. Van der Laan going in hard. Aspin equally as hard. Parking up and under. Yalink. Good layoff by Yalink. Good ball by Kent. <coughs> Van der Laan. First time shot and it's there. What a brilliant goal. A left footed shot by Van der Laan that completely deceived David James into the corner of the net to make the score. Port Vale 2, Watford 1. Well, that's as good a goal as you'll see on any pitch. stick to that is uh, Ian Taylor from the Huddersfield Town fans, but I don't think that'll bother Ian. Sully's there to take the free kick, Ray Walker's coming across to float in one of his specials, Taylor's in the box, Van der Laan's gone in there. Here comes Sully with the free kick, it's a good Van der Laan, what a goal! And Vail have silenced Huddersfield Town in the best way possible, free kick from Chris Sully, Van der Laan bit that one out, one nil. Well, that was a bit reminiscent of the goal that he scored against Stoke City in the Autoglass Trophy, wasn't it? It has to be said that uh, Robbie Van der Laan has proved to be an excellent header of the ball. He made no mistake there from four yards out. Port Vale breathe again, a goal down, they pull back for their first away win. Robin Van der Laan equalising six minutes into the second period. Zeven ton heeft Van Dijk inmiddels geïnvesteerd in SVV en het gaat dan ook goed met de Schiedammers dit seizoen. Een lange bal van Kee Molenaar in de richting van Piertel en daar is Robin van der Laan voor Lamy, de keeper van Excelsior en het is 1-0. Na 90 seconden spelen. Een lange bal van Molenaar in de richting van Robin van der Laan. Waar is de Excelsior verdediging? Nergens, maar hier is wel Van der Laan. 1-0, een snelle opening. Playoff contenders. They added weight to that theory in the second half. Robin van der Laan's header, good enough for three points. Now then, what can Martin Foyle do? Well, he loses possession temporarily, but thought would come Bell again. This is uh, John Jeffers. Does well to get his cross in. This is Joe Allen. 
And a shot coming in from Porter. And it's number one for Port Bell, and it's Van der Laan, sorry, Robin Van der Laan. And what a great goal that was. It comes after four minutes of the game. And uh, it was great work on the far side by John Jeffers. It came out to Andy, uh, to Robin Van der Laan. It's folly because the tower was falling down. And he abandoned his... Uh, as venture that was a nasty tackle on robin van der Laan, wasn't it from uh, bill williams getting a bit frustrated i think abandon this tower tone look at this coming in now well billy williams had realized that the ball had gone there yeah. and he really just wanted to make sure that robin van der Laan was not going to follow it abandon this tower and there was a man by the name of uh, sir arthur alvin who says mr allery nice work from the uh, Bale team bringing it out nicely. Van der Laan. Oh, what a great ball from him to Kevin Kant. That one. We were both wrong. Really he's bought Robbie Van der Laan very quickly. Makes me feel Port a lot Bell better. Hit, hitting the counter attack now. Porter to Kerr. Van der Laan finding Kevin Kent. Kent finding Slaven. Slaven cross on a roll now. Somebody said that to me, and I said, you know, I was a little bit. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I normally come out and speak my mind. I say, I oh, say yeah. what's going to happen, but I really didn't want to predict this one. And uh, the Stockport players standing inconsolable, actually, at the moment, uh, out of picture shot. And we're awaiting for the lap of honour to start with the Port Vale players.